Hi, how's it going everyone? Welcome to another Viral React tutorial. In today's video, I wanted to go through integrating Viral React with an existing React Native project. So before we continue from the previous video, I first wanted to take you through how you can go about uh, adding Viral React to an existing uh, React Native project. So what we're going to do, we're going to first set up a, a React Native project. So I'll just go ahead and call React Native init. And we'll just call this test app. So in the next video, we'll continue from where we left off. But in this video, I just wanted to take you through uh, this section here. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's just call it app. So React Native init app. And please note that I'm using an iOS device. So this tutorial will be specifically for iOS users. So that's done. Uh, let me go ahead and open this in my uh, Xcode. Then we'll also open the project in VS Code as well. Then we'll just give Xcode a moment to launch. So we've got Xcode opened here. And let's go ahead and select a team for our application. And then after doing that, uh, let's just go ahead and clean and run our app just to make sure that everything is set up correctly. And let's go ahead and build. So our build is successful. Let's go ahead and run this uh, on our devices. So I've got my iPhone connected here and then I'll just uh, run it there and then I'll record my screen as well. And it should launch on my device in any second now. So there we go. And we should just get the React Native template showing up. Okay, now from here, uh, we can go ahead and install Viral React. So we'll go to the official Viral Community documentation. So in the uh, second video where we got started with Viral React, we used the starter kit. But if you want to integrate it with an existing project, we will follow these in installation instructions here. So I'll go ahead and click that. And then we'll install this in our project. So I'll copy the line there. So I'll use yarn here. So yarn add. And while that is installing, I will click on this iOS linking. And then we'll copy these two lines here and add these to our pod file. So it says just under use React Native. So I'll go into my pod file in iOS. And then just beneath this uh, use React Native, we'll paste that there. And then we'll click save. And the next step from here, we can go ahead and install pods. Or well, let's also uh, add this to our permissions. So in our info pill list, uh, going into Xcode, and then going to your app, and then your app folder, and then info pill list. And then we'll just add another permission here. We'll paste that in. And then our description will be the camera is needed for AR functionality and paste it in there. And then we'll run pod install from here. So CD into iOS and then pod install. There we go. And then we'll just go ahead and uh, build our app again. 
so clean and then build once more. So our uh, build is successful and then we'll launch uh, the app on our screen one more time. And then from here, we can just copy the uh, AR uh, scenes from our actual application. So let's just wait for it to run first and then we'll just display the hello world text. And there we go. So now we can go ahead and start editing our app.js file. And I'll just clear up all of this. So then from here, we can go ahead and uh, add our viral react code. So first, let me add my view here. And this will be my container. Just give that a flex of one. give it a white background color as well. And then from here, I'll just get my viral uh, code from the project that we've been working on. So I'll just head into the AR tutorials, that's a kit, and then open that app.js. And then I'll just import all the uh, viral code that I need here. So it's from viral community uh, forward slash react viral. So I'll just paste that in there. Uh, let's remove some of the stuff that we're not using here. And here as well, so here I'll just need my scene navigator and so scene navigator, text, AR scene and viral ambient light. And then from here, I'll just copy this. So I'll add my viral ambient light and then I'll also add my uh, viral AR scene navigator and paste it in there, and then I'll create my initial scene as well. Now we can get rid of that. And then for my initial scene, I'll just have the viral text, so just viral AR scene. Uh, and this has to come here actually. So the viral ambient light has to go there instead. And then here we'll just add our viral AR text. And there we go. Then we'll just save that. Just add our return. And we should be good from here. Click OK. So uh, this is the prompt that we get. The camera is needed for AR functionality. Just click OK there. And then there we go, we have our hello world. So that's how you basically go about integrating viral React with an existing uh, React Native project. Uh, the other option you have is using the starter kit, which basically has all of this uh, set up for you. Yeah, so in the next video, we'll just continue from where we left off uh, with our application. And yeah, cheers for now.